All right, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy Part 16. It's been a while. <laughs> I feel like every time I make these videos, I say that. So the last few videos had a lot of lag in it. Um, what happened was I recorded for four hours and uh, when I stopped recording, the file was not generated. Uh, I thought it was like end of series. It didn't got recorded, but uh, OBS took a long time to process the file and uh, when the file was generated it had a lot of lag in it. I'm not sure if it's because uh, it was like 4 hours long or uh, maybe I didn't have enough space in my PC. I'm not sure. So yeah moving forward I will try to record like uh, 1 or 2 hour long video and then edit it. But yeah, for this video, I'm thinking of doing a quick quest, uh, just a small video. So let's just continue. No telling what lies in wait for me in there. All right, let's look at the quest. Find out what Gladwin Moon wants. Alright, let's do this one. What is this? Defindo. Okay. Oh, by the way, I find out like uh, if you fly really close to the ground the uh, the yellow bar will not do go down like look it is going down right now now if i go really low must have been quite stately in this time see it's not going down Handy resource indeed, your field guide. All right, let's do this. enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. All right. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. 
which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Oh, hold on. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes. Wait a minute. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play. Wait, these are not the moving staircase I wanted to see. Greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the. It's not changing path. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. Wait, what? That is why I need your the change it. The statues. Why me? Uh, I don't know about this one, guys. Uh, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not like changing path and all that. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed, actually. Uh, well, anyways, I mean it's not like it looks bad, but it's not the original moving staircase, right? <sighs> anyways, let's continue. Revelio. I need to express it, please. I'll get it later. A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? You? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. All right, Alohomora. Now we can unlock all the locks. Let's go.
Alohomora. Okay, it's like a puzzle. What I have to do? Q and E, A and D to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both one in gears are activated to release the lock. Like this. All right, let's go. Well done, you're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Revenio. all right uh, you guys can just pause the video and read all of this if you want I'll just uh, read it while editing Alright, so can we like stupefy them? Not stupefy, but like do that thing? Nope. Uh, we have to go up. Revenue. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. All right, let's go. Revenue. Oh wow, that place looks nice. Nice. Let's continue. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Hamora. Revenue. 
Revelio. Perhaps Ranrock and Hisot wouldn't be so combative if the Ministry would allow them to have one. Or hell, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My marching professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. How dare you speak to a prefect that way? I'm a prefect too. Right, let's go. Revelio. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Hold on. All right, let's go. Uh, can I take that? Yeah, this one. I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes. Oh for Hufflepuff. my God. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport, encompasses the whole of the human condition. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I was going for Akio. I just pressed three instead. Let's try it one more time. Maybe. Right, let's go. The golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention. All right, we are safe now. Revenue. So, the first video I made was in Feb, and it's uh, first of May today. So it took me three months, and I'm still not done with the series. But I have a full-time job and recording and editing videos every day is hard. But I hope I'll be done by the end of this month and maybe I have started a new series. Let's see. I think I have like uh, 10 hours of gameplay left. Okay. This guy. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. <laughs> but that does not explain the anger he knocks me, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. 
I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I a have something scholar. to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. <clears throat> I've been beside <clears throat> myself with worry. <clears throat> Could you meet me in the courtyard? <clears throat> all right, I think that's all. Uh... Man, I'm still kind of disappointed like they didn't put the original moving stairs and put this one. Uh, but anyways, let's look at the quest now. Meet with Deke. Meet Sebastian in Felkorf. I haven't done the cross once yet. Maybe next time I might do that. And uh, maybe one of these and then do the main quest. But uh, that's it for uh, today guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.